everybody. I just thought I would get myself ready. There's always so much to turn on and focus and everything else. I always like to get my laptop up. Not that it usually works. I've been using my Kindle lately. That seems to be working pretty good. How's everybody doing today? I hope good. In central Wisconsin on Sunday, we got a whole six inches of snow. When everybody thought it was going to be spring out, I guess Mother Nature went and said, not yet. So, um, we've been digging out of that, but also, it was nice to watch. Hi, Sally. I see you just popped on. Somebody else popped on, but I didn't see who it was. So you'll have to say hi to me because I can't tell who it was. Oh, Mary Dukes. Thank you for joining us tonight. I appreciate it. Hmm. My, my Kindle is not going to cooperate. Let me look at, just stand by. Let me look at this. Oh, it doesn't matter really because, hi Jan, nice to see you on here. Um, it doesn't really matter if I can see myself. I And Bernie's watching, I love it. Um, it doesn't matter if I can't see myself talking um, because it's not, it's not the end of the world. I just like to be able to say hi to everybody as they pop on. That would make me happy, but it is what it is. Um, for some, last night I did a, was our technique class, and that was really a first and quite interesting. Ah, here, there I am. Um, quite interesting, and that was, it was all virtual. We had our class, um, by doing a private Facebook Live. And beforehand, I had sent the kit, kits to everybody that attended and then told them what color ink we would be using. Hi, Kathy Miller. And then they all joined me. I demonstrated the cards and it worked. It was just fabulous. It worked so good. I was just so impressed. I guess I went into it with not a lot of expectation, but I was so grateful that it worked out. Um, I hope everybody is making cards and sending cards. I have, I've been doing that myself. And um, hi, Rita. I see you that joined us. Um, I hope everybody's making and sending cards. I know I have, and I've gotten notes from some of the people I've sent cards to, and there's just so they just appreciate it so much. And it just really makes my day that it made their day. So, okay. Um, things I have going on for the rest of April is our kit class, which will be a kit class at home. Uh, you get the actual kits. They're simple cards. You just supply the stamps and um, ink and adhesive which has went over well, but man, I'll tell you, I'll be so happy when we can all be together again. Okay. Um, I'll be ordering new catalogs just shortly as we have the next annual catalog will be coming out June 3rd. The catalog goes live. So I'm looking forward to that. Remember, we have retiring in colors and I showed you those last week if you need cardstock because you liked one or the re-inkers you should order them now because next week they will be um they will be announcing the retirement and as soon as stamping up announces the retirement everything will be gone hi Pam thank you for joining us that's three weeks in a row that makes me happy I had to laugh tonight um, when I was getting ready for this. 
because I've used more makeup just getting ready and Judy Vine just hopped on. More makeup, hairspray. You know, when you're retired and you're home all the time, you don't go and dress up. It's the same sweatshirt or what have you. So I'm wearing clothes. I'm going through my closet wearing things that um, I haven't worn for a long time. So that's pretty good. Hi, Arliss. Thank you for joining me. Okay, now we're going to, I have a couple other things to show you, but I can't show you to them when you're looking at me. You have to be looking down. So um, we're going to get to that just shortly, and then we'll do some stamping. So see, and my Kindle froze up, so now I can't see anything. Again, same thing as last night, and I don't have anything on my laptop, which I'm not surprised, I guess. Yeah. Oh, well, it is what it is, right? Okay. So I'm going to go and flip my camera over, and we're going to go and talk about a couple things. I have some cards to show you, and then we're going to get stamping. So hang on. There we go. There's this. I'll put this on here so you can and move it closer. There. And taller. There we go. And straight. There. Okay. As you can see here, I got some numbers. Um, I'm getting ready to do the April stamp of the month. And what we had to vote for was positive thoughts, right here. The uh, ornate style, which is right here. That um, stamp set I just got. That one is right there. And the last one we had to vote for was Pedal to the Metal. Well, there was a tie on all three of them. All three of them was a tie. So I thought, well, now what am I going to do? Everybody's busy, and I knew that. And um, I asked for a re-vote. That didn't work out so good. So, you know, when I have things that don't work out so good, I just go and think of a new way. So the April stamp of the month is going to be number one. Sending positive thoughts. This one right here. If this is one that you're interested in, please get in touch with me. The stamp set and four cards that I designed is $24. Then um, all we do is make your cards. All you have to do is supply the ink and adhesive. So I have. let me mark this down. So hopefully it doesn't take too long for me to, because I don't even have this stamp set yet, but I think it's very pretty with the butterfly and the feather, the flowers and stuff. I'm going to be able to come up with some really pretty things, I'm thinking. Okay, I wanted to show you. That's for tonight. Oh, as I mentioned before, the in colors for 2018 and 20, Lovely Lipstick, Grapefruit Grove, Pineapple Punch, Comic Clover, and Blueberry Bushel, they will all be retiring. So if this is something you like, you should get that ordered. Okay, put this back over here. I wanted to share with you, I shared with the gals last night, but I got my order from Stamping Up, which is uh, the pre-order and a sneak peek for, it's called the Ornate Garden. Um, we have layers, the dies, which I'll show you in a second how pretty those are. The dies just don't do it um, justice. We have the Ornate Thanks, along with 
the ornate style. And Gilded Gems, the embossing folder. Beautiful ribbon. It's kind of a linen, it's a linen ribbon. In Calypso Core or Terracotta Tile, I'd have to look. And I would say Old Olive. Okay. And lastly was this beautiful designer series paper with the daisies. And I would say these are mums. I'm not sure 100%. Let's look at the rest of them real quick. And you know, it's always two-sided. We have some beautiful daisies there. And uh, that colors. We have these really pretty flowers. But on the back side is a foil. And this is very pretty. And then we got this. I can see doing something, and I forgot to mention it last night, with a resist where we color the uh, designs, the flowers, and then wipe off the excess ink, just like we did last night at the technique class. So I'm looking forward to um, I'm looking forward to playing with that probably this week. I received some cards. I have all three stamp sets, so I just want the cards. Well, good, Bernie. That that um, answers everything for me, because I needed to know that. Hi, Kathy Nelson. Okay. I got this beautiful Easter card from my friend Jan in Wisconsin Rapids. Jan was, we were roommates in college. 40 years ago, probably. Uh, would it be 40? Not quite. A long time ago. Hi, Janet Schmidt. Thank you for tuning in. I got this card from Corey Hand. She was sending me a um, her order. I appreciate that so much. I got this card from Jan. I, I had a laugh because not only did Jan send the Easter card the daisy card, and then this card. Almost, I bet she wished she would have saved. She could have saved herself some time. You know, it was always to pay for different classes or something, and she had to send me a card each time, but I appreciated every single one of the cards, let me tell you. Okay. Now, last night at our technique class, these are the cards we made. We made, this is my pattern, and then we made one to go with it. Um, the technique is called Flowering Foils Emboss Resist. We use markers to color the flowers and the leaves, and then we any excess ink will not stick to the um, foils, and we wipe that off with a tissue. Here was the other one. And then we use a sponge dabber for that one. Here's another variation of the same card. I always have to make a make one so I know what I'm talking about. And then this gem, I really like this one. Um, this card we made, and the one I made last night was purple. Yes, it was fun to go get the mail on three different days, Jan. Yes, it was. And I like getting cards. We made this card last night. This was my pattern only in a different color because when, and this uses the ornate dies. Aren't these things just lovely? I know I'm going to use them a lot. But when you open the card, um, this is a birthday card and then a package of seeds. And then this is also the ornate dies also. But I thought this was very pretty. And this one opened the same way. I can see myself making more of these particular cards. And this was a design that I changed just a little bit. That Deb 
Vine shared with me months ago. So this was our technique class. This was my swap card that I made for the virtual swap. Again, it uses the ornate dies and the ornate style. Um, they're in ornate style stamp set and stamp this in smoky slate. I thought this card turned out just lovely. I was very happy with how it turned out. Okay, now moving right along, we have a winner for all of the comments and the share. I always have a door prize, right? Well, our winner last night was Chris Anding. I write down every single one of them as they come up on the screen. And then I go to a app that I have and it picks a number and that's who the winner is. So Chris Anding, I will be delivering your Thoughtful Bloom stamp set tomorrow when I deliver your kit class tomorrow. Okay, and I thank you all so much for tuning in and supporting my small business. I appreciate each and every one of you. I know this is a difficult time and stuff, but we've made the best of it, and I just can't be... I'm just so glad I stamp. So now it's time to stamp, right? Okay, let me get my stuff. The stamp set we're going to use tonight is Parcels and Petals. Try saying that five times. And it can be found... Whoops. We'll put that there. It can be found on page 27 of the annual catalog. It's right here. Um, a real fun stamp set. You get all this with it. Okay. And I think you're going to like how the card turned out. I know I liked it. Now let me put this over here. We're going to be using the colors So Saffron, Seaside Spray, and Pear Pizzazz. It's just a great combination. I really like how it... Um, they complement each other's. Thank you, Kathy Miller. I think they're very the cards were very pretty also. Okay, we're going to let me get my packet. Put my stamps over on the side. I have to be prepared. We're gonna do a little masking tonight. Hi Danella. I'll be coming to see you tomorrow also and drop off your um your designer series paper, um, you won a week ago, last week's um, Facebook Live. So I'll probably leave it on your porch and you can get it whenever. I can text you before I leave the house so you have an idea. We're going to use our Seaside Spray Base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. There's going to be a So Saffron um, layer. It's gonna be, and a white piece for the front and a white piece on the inside, okay? We're going to use the stitched oval right here and I cut them out already to save time and then a solid oval will be our layer for the stitched oval okay just like that okay now put all this stuff aside we're going to take this piece right here and what I did was I took a post-it note and I ran my die through, which I covered up already. And when I cover it up, then I lose it. But as you can see, I ran my die through already. 
just like that. And so there I have this piece, right? Okay, so I'm going to put that right in the middle of my white. This is just garbage. We'll throw that away. We're going to take some Seaside Spray ink. And we got our mask. We're going to take the flowers. And I want to go and stamp them like that. All the way around. Just like that. So it looks like this. Now, I need my white piece of paper. Okay. I'm going to go and add a little, I'm going to add a, this little flower right here. And right there. And just, that'll be it. Okay. Get some of that ink off. Okay. Now I'm going to take some So Saffron. No, I'm going to take Pear Pizzazz. And stamp, stamp some leaves. In various spots there's no right or wrong way that I can tell just whatever works for you Put one right here. There. Okay. Get rid of this ink. Now we're done with the pear. Oh, now we'll get this so saffron. And we are going to go and stamp some, I don't know, little flowers. Just in some spots just to add a little color actually there so that's that okay we're done with that we're done with so saffron too Okay, before I take this off, this is what it looks like. Okay, and now you can throw this part away. Because, hi Maureen, I know you're not a stamper, but I'm glad you joined us. So this is our front. We're now going to take our oval. Okay, I need my... going to make this a happy uh, birthday cheer to you all year that that is also in the parcels and petals stamps up okay see now if you look at that I got way too much ink right there let's get that off let's try that again Let's see how it looks. Okay. 
We're going to put that right in the middle. Just like that. And we'll cover this up. Now, I want my flowers back. I'm going to ink that up with Seaside Spray. Stamp off once. And stamp right on top of my flowers. Okay? Wasn't that cool? Let me see. Now, I'm going to glue this on my layer. Glue this on my layer. We might as well, while we're at it, we can start putting our um, card together. So saffron. that on first we're gonna then we're gonna put our whisper white piece on in case anybody's wondering this is a Cindy original I came up with this card all by myself I don't always but ever so often you don't know how to share this. Well, I think the share button is right on the in the white part, maybe. Hmm. We'll have to discuss that sometime. I know there's a place where you can. I think it's on the right hand side, but I'm not sure. Okay, but anyway, that's okay, Donella. You wanted to. The thought was there. Okay, so there's our front. All right now. Oh, you thought I lost it, didn't you? I thought I did too. Because if you've ever been to one of my classes, that happens quite regularly. We're going to put dimensions on the back. Get rid of this. You don't need to see that. We'll get rid of, we're gonna do our dimensions now. It's kind of cold here today in central Wisconsin. Before the hubby got ready to go to work, I said, you know what would be nice? If you went and built a fire in the pellet stove. And so we did. And boy, is it just nice and toasty. There, that's our card so far, but we're not done. I got some really pretty pearl basic jewels here. You're going to learn so much today at night because you're probably wondering how is that going to ever show up, right? Well, you can take one of our alcohol markers, which is C4. Seaside spray, and we're gonna go and color. Well, that's the wrong side. Take the paintbrush side, we're gonna color the a big pearl, and then we're gonna color a little pearl. And that's one of the nice things about stamping up everything matches from the cardstock to the ink to the markers to the blends. The ribbon, everything matches. And it's really nice, pretty cool, that we can go and um, color them with our blends to add to our project. Okay. Come on. There. We're going to put one here. And one here. I should have went and colored more. Look, let me color another um, pearl because I want a total of four. 
There we go. And we're going to put one, we'll put one right here. And right there. Okay. That's our card. Let's do the inside. We'll put that aside for a little bit. The saying we're using tonight is somebody loves you lots and lots. I usually use the Stamparatus to make them straight, but we're going to just go this route. There's that. That looks pretty good. Well, maybe it could be better. Let's try that one more time. There, that's better. Okay. And then I want my Seaside Spray back and the one decorative stamp. We'll ink this up. That's how that looks like. That looks good. Very pretty card. Well, thank you, Jan. Thank you, Donella. Almost have it finished. I just have to put it, put the greeting in there. Let's put this. Right like that. There we go. There. And that's our card. Using masking. And um, coloring our pearls with an alcohol marker. I thought that turned... I thought the card just is so pretty. And the colors... This Seaside Spray is just really one of my favorites. Um, I'm really liking it. I'm glad that you... I'm glad everybody tuned in tonight. Um, that's all I have for you. And stay safe. We're going to get through this. And I can't wait to see everybody in person. But for now, the um, Facebook Lives are working pretty good. And I plan on keeping them. Remember, if you ever need anything for your crafting business. I am a stamping up demonstrator and I would love to earn your business. Um, thank you for helping me support my small business and my part-time job. And happy stamping everybody. Thank you so much.